Hi, I'm Gail Oliveira, the Food Service Director at Swansea Public Schools. I'm here to notify the community of our food service program for the school year 2020 and 2021. Things have changed and I think there have been a lot of questions out there as to how we will be feeding children this year and how will we be able to adapt to the changes that are being made for remote feedings. A little background. Normally at this time of year, what we like to do is encourage parents to send out uh, for free and reduced priced applications. Uh, those that are eligible will get their applications in, complete their applications, and send them to the district. While we still want everyone to do that, uh, there's a new caveat this year. You may or may not know that the school lunch program, as well as most of public schools in the country, um, follow the uh, federal program from the USDA. So we follow the rules and regulations, and in return, public schools are eligible for cash um, reimbursements, as well as we're able to acquire uh, certain foods and produce for our programs. And all of that is based on participation. This year, as a result of COVID-19 and the fact that we're all well aware that people are challenged, people are struggling, in their wisdom, the USDA approved a waiver about a week ago offering to all public school K through 12 students in the country free meals. This is a temporary solution, but these free meals are eligible until December 31st. What we're hoping in our community, the um, school meal community, is that the government can find enough funds so that we can have these monies available and offer free meals to every student until June of 2021. I just don't know if that's going to happen. But for now, here's what I need from you. We need everyone to participate in the school meal program. The more children that we feed, the better for the community and for us. You probably don't know, but all school food service programs are self-supporting. We are like a nonprofit within the school districts that we serve. Our employees work for the district, but we manage the program separately. The more children we feed, breakfast and lunch, the more money comes back to Swansea Public Schools, and that's what we want. We want more monies to come back to Swansea Public Schools. That helps pay for the food, the staff, the equipment, anything new that we could do for the school. We've purchased a new food truck. We've had to fix uh, freezers and so on. But again, the more people participate, the better. So this year, how are we gonna do it? This is what, how we're going to do it. Menus are posted right now on the school's website, but in shortcut, go to swanseaschools.nutrislice.com. And I believe you will see that website either during this program or at the end. We have menus posted for children that will be on site for cohort A and cohort B, as well as menus for remote learners. I have posted on that website an elementary on-site breakfast, an elementary on-site lunch, a secondary on-site breakfast, and that secondary menu is for the junior high school and the high school. And we also have that same, uh, we will have a remote breakfast and a remote lunch. What does that mean? If you go on the website now, you look and see what your children can have. If your children are remote, we are going to be scheduling pickup times where parents can drive to the school between 
right now what we're planning is between three and four on Wednesdays and Friday afternoon. We felt that three and four might be a great time where parents might be off work. And what they're gonna do is they will pick up for cohort um, A, which is they could come on Friday and pick up meals for the rest of the week for cohort B. They could come on Friday pick up and pick up my, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday food. It sounds confusing, but there's a method to the madness. Each time there's a pickup, you are picking up three breakfast meals and three lunch meals at no charge. Remember, the more meals that children take, the better for the community. We are meeting, hopefully, the needs of the community. We don't want to see children go hungry. And quite frankly, every school in the country is doing this. Every public school district in the country is doing this. Why not Swansea? We want everyone to participate. We know that eating free, while the program does allow it with the appropriate approvals and so on, this is free for all until December 31st of this year. Every school in the country is gonna take full advantage of this. There is a need, it doesn't matter what economic group you're in, you are not taking it away from anybody. Remember, we are a self-sustaining entity. We wanna feed the community. I have a wonderful staff of about 22 folks. They wanna feed every child equally. There is no stigma to this, but in the meantime, I still want people to fill out their free and reduced applications for the 2020-2021 school year. Because once this program ends, and there is no more free lunch for all, and I mean free breakfast and free lunch, we're gonna revert back to the old system of free eligible meals, reduced price eligible meals, where breakfast is 30 cents and lunches are 40 cents, and the regular priced meals. We did have to go up for the first time in five years. We are the only school district in this area that has not raised prices in five years while everything else has gone up. So breakfast after December 31st, if the USDA does not extend the waiver, will go to 175. And lunches for elementaries will go to $2.85 and lunches for secondary, uh, junior high school and high school, will go to $3.10. Remember, Swansea has not raised meal prices in 25 years yet. Every, uh, 25, I'm sorry, in five years. I wish 25 years. In five years, but that's significant. Um, we still like to keep the program as cost effective as possible. That's why following the federal guidelines. That's why the USDA um, gives us guidelines to follow and can partially subsidize what we do. But that's all government stuff. It's all well-intentioned. But without the USDA at this point, we couldn't offer free meals to everybody. And for me and for my staff, that's key. So please, stay informed. Participate in the school meal programs. It's going to be a challenging start for my staff next week because we won't know how much to produce. But as we see more consistency and we see children, uh, at, we're planning it so that at the high school and the junior high school, instead of coming to pick up those meals, we'll probably be sending them home. We'll be sending three breakfasts and three lunches home on Tuesday with cohort A, and we'll be sending breakfast and lunches three each on Friday with cohort B. But if you can't make it, you don't want your children to carry a bag home on the bus, come pick it up between three and four at the high school. More to follow, I'll send emails home as a reminder because this is a lot to absorb. But the key thing in all of this, folks, breakfast is available for every child in Swansea Public Schools. Lunch is available for every child at Swansea Public Schools. And for the first time ever, until December 31st, breakfast and lunches are no charge for every student. 
the only thing that we will charge for is if a child has bottled water or anything a la carte. That's different. But if you put monies on your child's account, go through myschoolbucks.com. You can add monies on your child's account. Or you could send a check in made out to Swansea School Lunch, send it to the high school, 70 School Street, Swansea, Mass, 02777. Address it to me, Gail Oliveira, the food service director, and I'll make sure it'll get deposited. We do not really want to handle cash at this time. So when uh, a child comes through when they want an a la carte meal or an a la carte snack. I'd prefer not that my children, uh, my staff handle cash. So please get monies online. Okay. So that's it, folks. Um, a lot to absorb, but you can't deny it. Meals are free for the first time ever, and we want everyone to participate. It's the it's for the good of the program is for the good of your child, is for the good of your family. It's convenient. Let us do the cooking. If you have any questions about this, you can reach out to my uh, phone at 508-646-4401 or my email address, goliveira at swanseaschools.org.